This is the second of my advice videos. This one's about gardening or cultivating your mind to do physics. And it's something that I think is very, very simple, but really, really important. In order to improve at anything or become good at anything, we need to be able to kind of garden our thoughts. And whether we do that consciously or unconsciously, it's got to happen. And so let me give you the analogy with the gardening of the mind. So here we've got the soil, and it's going to play the role of the psyche, or we'll just call it the mind. And of course, coming out of the soil, we'd get little plants. And the plants would be like our thoughts. Now, some of our thoughts are like little seedlings, and they come and they go, not much duration to them. Other of our thoughts become like huge trees, right? They become like philosophies. Uh, so the trees, in our analogy, would be like philosophies, approaches to life, maybe paradigms. So these are thoughts that last a long time and cover a large area of ideas. And then, of course, we're going to need something that helps our plants to grow, and that would be the sun. It's going to be awareness in our analogy. So while we're doing some physics, uh, we might have some thoughts like, uh, what is the correct answer? It seems like a useful thought. And we might have some thoughts like, uh, well, how does that work? Now, from my experience, these thoughts here tend to be, tend to help you be more successful in physics than these thoughts here. These are kind of limiting, right? Because you're always depending on somebody else. You're always having confidence in somebody else, and you're not really developing confidence in yourself. But when you ask, how does something work, you're kind of getting more engaged. You're getting yourself more involved in the problem. And after all, physics is all about how things really work. So what we'd like to do here is maybe block some of the sunlight, some of the awareness from shining on these thoughts so that these thoughts stop growing, maybe even shrink a bit, and shine more light, more awareness on these thoughts about how things work. So when we shine awareness on, on these thoughts, we're just valuing these thoughts. And when we kind of block the sunlight for those other thoughts, we're just kind of devaluing those thoughts. But the result should be that these thoughts begin to grow. And these thoughts begin to shrink. And your thoughts are going in all different directions and in all different dimensions. Some of your other thoughts might be, I am no good at physics. But maybe on occasion, you notice that you're doing physics and you did something well. You had a little insight. You suddenly understood something. Once again, what you want to do, shine your awareness on these thoughts. Value those thoughts. Get those thoughts to grow and become bigger. And devalue these thoughts because they're very limiting. So ultimately, you want to use your awareness to grow the garden that you want. Everybody's an individual, so for some people, certain thoughts won't grow well. The soil's just not right for it. But everybody can have good and productive thoughts. So I highly recommend that you become a gardener of your own thoughts. It's going to make you much more mindful, much more aware of your own being. So please take the time to like videos, to make comments, to ask questions, become a subscriber, sign up for notifications, become a member or a Patreon. 
And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.